Hey guys, this is Julia Alterman from Just One More Card, and today I'm back with a video showcasing the no line coloring technique, and I'm using my Copic markers for this. Um, now I am going to be using these supplies here. These are the um, stitched mini scalloped circles. That's a mouthful. By my favorite things. Um, which have this nice scallop and stitching um, detail. I'm going to be using this cute hippo with his present and then a sentiment from Altinium, this one right here. As always, you can find all the products I'm using in the video description below. Now I'm starting out by laying out my stamps on the circle. Like before I die cut the circle, I had already measured that, you know, to make sure that everything would fit. But now I'm just making sure that I will stamp everything um, even and that I will have enough space for my sentiment. Now this may have my favorite thing my favorite things ink, goodness gracious, is called Grout Grey, and it's the um the hybrid ink that works well with Copics. And as you can see, you can't see anything. Um, that's just because the light's very bright here, but I, I personally, I myself, I can see um, a very faint outline. And the point of this is that um, like the no line coloring basically means that you won't have like a black outline. You know, usually we stamp everything in black ink. We don't have a black outline, but instead we try to create dimension with lights and shadows. And you saw here that I immediately started to um, um, trace some of the lines with my darkest marker um, that was because you know those were those would be where the shadows are and then i used the pencil to trace some of the other lines just to make it to make it easier for me to to see um, you can see here that uh, i'm just blending from dark to light gray and on this first layer i'm basically just making sure um, that i have like the, the basic shape of the of the character right and you can also see here that on his chin i made sure to leave a white gap and the same i'm doing here with his arm you will see that um, uh, um take shape later on and the reason i'm leaving this little white space is because you know like the the bottom of his chin is in the shadow but of course his his chin will also cover up part of his neck and there will be shadow as well and if you don't leave this little white gap um, it will just be basically a black mess because everything will be dark um, and i'm just taking some artistic license here to leave a tiny little bit of a highlight you can see here um, how i colored it um, just to make sure that you have enough definition between for example the arm and the body and the head and the neck you can at the very end still go over go over these white areas and you can see it with his um, leg as well you can still go over that area later with very light gray so it's not completely stark white also what i like to do is mix up um, and bring in my pencils on top of my copic coloring and that is just because you know the sharp pencils allow me to add a lot more detail than i could with my copic markers just like i like i'm i don't know i'm physically challenged doing very fine work with my copic markers it's just like i don't know like i don't have that skill so um you know by using very sharp pencils <laughs> it makes it so much easier for me to add very fine detail and to you know extend the shadows and the highlights just enough for me to be able to add a nice dimension to the character you can see here how just some patient um, line work with the pencils allows me to add so much more detail and, what, and uh, with the pencils, as always, you work in layers, so you don't press down very hard the first time you go over anything. Um, you just do it you know, layer by layer and then slowly build up the color. Now for my um, uh, card base here, I'm actually using Versamark ink, which is a sticky ink, but it's, it's clear, as long as your ink pad is clean, it's clear. Um, and I'm using the balloons from the uh, Hippo stamp set, and I'm just stamping it with a clear Versafine, Versamark ink onto um, my card base. And I'm using a very soft brush and uh, the Perfect Pearls powder, and I'm just dabbing the, uh, the powder on top of the sticky ink, and it will stick to it. Um, like the, the trick here is to make sure that it's, you don't move the brush like side to side. You really dab it like from, like from the top towards the bottom so you don't smear the ink. And what it gives you is um, like a very subtle background pattern that you actually you only really see when, when it's tilted in the light. And then at the very end here, after I um, stamped my sentiment and mounted my little panel here on top of my card base, I'm using my Sharpie white pen just to add some highlight to the eye. I'm not entirely happy with how the eyes turned out, to be honest. Um, 
but I am quite happy about the result of the no-line coloring, which I find quite challenging. I think it's a very difficult technique because you always have to be quite aware of um, where your light is and where your shadows are. Um, and you have to be very precise when you color because, you know, everything is like heightened and you see every little mistake. Um, it's something that I enjoy, but it is quite challenging. Um, but I can really recommend giving it a try because when it works, like even for me, it doesn't work all the time. But when it works, it's super, super rewarding. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll catch you again soon. Bye bye.